Good evening, YouTube. Good morning. Good night. Wherever you are, Next Gen Gamer here. And uh, I actually have some exciting news. As we all know, I've been playing Final Fantasy Tactics for the PSX emulator, or EPSXE. Now, I did have one complaint with it, with uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. It looks outdated. Um, I mean, this game I'm playing right now looks outdated too, but I'll explain what I'm doing. Uh, right now I'm playing Final Fantasy Tactics, um, the War of the Lions for the PSP. And I'm using the emulator PPSSPP version 1.0.1. Or 0 0.3, excuse me. Now, there was one problem with the PPSSPP or PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. And it was a huge problem. Massive problem. The problem was that anytime there was an action that used graphics for the emulator, it caused the game to lag extremely. Let me turn this down. So the game would start lagging, and at first when I started playing the game, I thought it was the emulator. So you know, I, I searched for hours and hours and hours looking for a way to fix this slowdown problem with Final Fantasy Tactics: The uh, the, the War of the Lions. Simply because the PSP version uh, is told better; it's a better story, um, and the reason why it's a better story is because it's told uh, not just through text. And I mean, it's preference, really. Um, they, they changed the script completely. Um, they, as you can see right here, this animation would normally go slow as hell, but it's running at 100%, as you can see in the top right corner of the screen, 60 frames per second, which is what I have it capped at. You'll see it drop every now and then, but that's um, that's uh, because of the menus, and the game does that by, by default. But either way, the, the PSP version is told better. One, you have more jobs you can select from. You have two new jobs added, which is the Dark Knight and the, um, let me double check, because I don't know off the top of my head. Alright, so you have the, the Dark Knight and you have the Onion Knight. Two new jobs added, in addition to the um, Final Fantasy Tactics job tree. So, um, it's pretty cool, because the character you see here, um, Gathgarian, he, the one you see my mouse over, he is a Dark Knight, essentially. And um, you don't really get to see that class very much, and that ability that he uses you never get unless you can get it off of a drop from a dead person when their body turns into a little crystal, which is extremely rare. It's literally about, about a 2% chance to get that ability. Um, that Night Blade, or Shadow Blade, is what it's been changed to. Uh, a lot of the abilities, names have been changed as well, instead of, you know, uh, uh, I can't remember what this was actually um, before, it was a different name, it wasn't Metal, um, but... Um, some of the names have changed. Rush has changed from uh, from Dash. Chance has changed from um, uh, I think it was Cry or something, or I can't remember, Faith or something like that. I can't remember. Either way, um, the game overall is just better. Um, what you'll see in a moment after I beat this is uh, I beat this little uh, intermission stage is that the game also has cutscenes and it's. Um, the cutscenes are, are awesome. They're pretty cool. I mean, it, t it helps tell the story in a better way um, rather than uh, just reading text. Uh, the text has also has, has a more closer translation to what the Japanese original made the originally made game was. So the text uh, or the context or the story um, uh, script is a lot closer to what the game originally was. Uh, so it's interesting to see. You know, because I played all the way up <clears throat> a pretty far amount into uh, the Final Fantasy, ta Final, Fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics for PlayStation, and um, it's interesting to see a lot of the different names and different uh, different the way they the ways they um, describe certain scenes or certain actions. Uh, either way, uh, I would recommend playing the PPSSPP version if you're using an emulator on your PC. Uh, it's amazing. Now. There was one problem with doing that, of course, was the slowdown. The slowdown is ridiculous. And if you look all over YouTube, you'll see people are plagued with the slowdown. It's a problem with the game developing. It's a problem with the programming. It just, they did a shit job on it. You know, put shame on you, Square Enix, basically. Slap on the wrist. Um, but luckily, our hack community uh, was able to come out with a patch that fixes this. Now, 
One of the, one of the things I'm going to say is it is a bitch to find this patch. Excuse my French. It is hard as hell to find this patch, and even harder to get it installed into the into the ISO, because you need two patches actually, and you need a program uh, to do that called a uh, PPFF Omatic. Uh, PPF Omatic, excuse me, which is extremely hard to find as well. I mean, Google is your best friend, as I always say. Don't be foolish. Use Google if you need to, but it's hard to find the right one. It's hard to find one that doesn't have viruses associated with it, such as adware or spyware. Um, so I will be posting that in the chat, uh, a link to download the two um, PDF document or two PPF documents or PPF patches you're going to need, as well as the PPF Omatic. And I'll be showing you today how to use those two things. That way you can be a master at that, and that way you don't have to tell you can play the game and enjoy it without having to worry about some weird ass slowdown uh, happening anytime you do anything. This, is, this happens even when you use a potion on a character. The game just starts to, to, to drop in, in uh, frames like, like ridiculously. And as you can see, I'm not having any problem with that at all, so obviously it's working. Um, anytime. Um, I mean, if you look on YouTube, you'll see. Just type in Final Fantasy Tactics PSP slowdown, and you'll see, you'll see people in there um, just having a nightmare with it. Now, that's, it's an easy fix for the actual PSP if you're using a UMD or if you plug your PSP. But if if you're like us and you're not using your PSP and you want to use your you know powerful computer or even just your computer in general to play emulators on your PSP, this is the best way to go, and it's the easiest way to go. Uh, and I'll be showing you how to do that just so you don't have to worry about it again. Um, but let me just talk bullshit my way through this little battle here. I will be speeding it up. There's that Shadow Blade. No lag whatsoever. Loving it. Because uh, before it was just pissing me off. Like, it was just, it was so ridiculous. And I just couldn't figure out what was going on. <laughs> you know, I, I dug through the settings of this, of this, uh, of the PPS, uh, PPSPP, and I, I, I literally, like, I was racking my brain. I was like, Jesus, like, what the hell is wrong with this game? Why is it not working? You know, I changed settings. I looked up YouTube videos to find out the best settings for PPSSPP. And I really just, I really just did a lot of things I didn't need to do because it was actually just the game itself. You know, which is good to know. I mean, that that it's not the emulator because I want to be able to play this game on the PSP version uh, rather than the uh, PlayStation version. Because as you can see, I mean, it looks even nicer. I mean, not as detailed because it's not. Um, well, I wouldn't say detail, but not as realistic looking. Like the graphs, it's kind of cartoony and kind of gives me like a uh, like a cell shaded look, um, so to speak. But um, overall, it's not bad. It really is not bad. I mean, I mean, and I love this game. I love Final Fantasy Tactics. I just wish the story was told better, like Final Fantasy Tactics: War of the Lions, because. They talk about War of the Lions in Final Fantasy Tactics for PlayStation. Uh, when you get to a level, you, you speak with one of the um, one of the uh, dukes, and he talks about the War of the Lions. And the fact that he references that in the PlayStation version, and you never really see the War of the Lions, was an interesting fact or an interesting thing. Um, so now you're actually playing a part of that storyline from the beginning, and you get to see the whole War of the Lions thing and how it plays out. Um, and of course, the game runs faster, boots, it loads a lot faster because a lot of the, a lot of the cutscenes that were um, played out through the game, like 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 this kind of thing, where you see like little characters and they're, you know, going through a cutscene. A lot of those scenes were replaced with actual cutscenes, and as we all know, cutscenes use up less memory than than actual graphic performances in the game itself so it's interesting to see that oh he blocked the shit out of me it's interesting to see that played out and interesting to see the cutscenes and hear their voices for the first time and understand <laughs> and also understand the way their names are pronounced like delita's name d-e-l-i-t-a for the longest time i was saying uh delita or deleta and it actually is Del uh, delita so it's good to see that the pronunciations and, and everything played out in, uh, in the actual storyline and, and hear the damn she fucked him up and hear the voices of all the characters, like the main character's voice, uh, Ramza, which I changed his name to Trion, and we all know who Trion is, the Prince Trion Odegaer from Final Fantasy XI, um, the Elven Prince of Sandoria. I changed his name to Trion because I just love that name, and he's, and I've always been a paladin in Final Fantasy games. Uh, but let me shut up here, and you can see the cutscene play out. Now, in the PS PlayStation version, he kidnaps her, but he the does princess. it all through the little little characters, little little chibis, or whatever you want to call them. Quick, 
And try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you. You've quite a mouth on you, princess. Awesome. Just right in the gut. Forgive me. When Bay acting up. It's your birth and faith that <laughs> wrong you, not I. The cutscenes, mind you, are very well voiced. There's Delita. Is it truly him? And that's our main character's voice, Ramza. Or aka Trion. Delita. But why does he fight under the banner of Duke Cortana? And Agreus, that female knight over there in the background. Her voice is pretty uh, interesting. I, I wouldn't have thought her voice would have sounded like that. I was expecting more of a manly voice for her since she's like the, one of the most badass holy knights in the game. But uh, yeah, that's it. Let me... Um, uh, let me minimize this. I'm going to pause this for now, and we're going to go in to show you how to do it, how to get it so it doesn't give you that annoying-ass <clears throat> slow-motion lag. Uh, to start, I'm going to leave this up in the background anyway, because I, I can't save, and I don't want to do a, I don't want to do a state save, because it acts weird in the PPSPP. So I'm just going to PPSSPP. I'm going to go ahead and just show you what files I'm using. So. I'm using these two files here: Slowdown Fix Mark II PPF and the uh, Wing, the uh, War of the Lions. Um, War of the what the hell? That's oh, that's mixed up. I just realized that person messed that up. I didn't I didn't type that in. Some uh, War of Lions the U.S. Fast Fix PPF. So those two files are are what's needed. You need both of these in order for it to work properly, because uh, one piggybacks with the other. So you'll do this one first, and then this one second. Uh, so, with that said, let's go ahead and get that process started. Now, when you download the um, the PPF-O-Matic for me uh, from the in the comment section, uh, once you on on uh, once you open it up and you know with WinRAR or whatever you're using, you'll have a file like this. Okay, in that file. Is going to be the PPFomatic uh, installation or PPFomatic application data. The only thing you need to run is the PPFomatic itself, the executable, which is this right here. Once you run that, it'll look like this. Okay. Once you have that open, it's it's so simple. It, it really amazing, and it's um, it pisses me off. It took me almost two days to figure this out or to find it, because um, it was easy for the PSP again for UMDs, but not for the not for emulators, it's a pain in the ass. No one talks about setting it up for an emulator. Um, I had to piece together a bunch of information from 10 different forums, but um, I digress. Either way, so once it opens up, you have this. A uh, an option to choose an ISO file, which we all know what an ISO is. It's the game itself when you download it. Uh, don't be foolish, we all know. Um, next is the patch. Uh, the patch are those two patches that I show you, those PPF files which are patch files. I don't know what PPF stands for. You can look it up and let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. But um, it's probably like some oh, PSP patch file. <laughs> That's probably what it means, more than likely. Either way, those are the patch files you're going to use. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and locate the ISO. Okay? I have mine located in, 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 the, uh, in the PlayStation Emulator folder. So I have a PSP emulator. You see I have a lot of emulators, which I'm going to be reviewing. So stay tuned, guys and gals. Anyways, PSP emulator. Izzo and the Final Fantasy Izzo, whatever Final Fantasy Izzo you have, some some have a different name, um, but mine is Final Fantasy T W. Okay, so you would double click that, or and it'll have the path there. Then you'll simply click the save button again over here. You'll locate the um, patch file now, the PPF file. First one to go in is uh, the W O L T. I'm going to leave it like that because the person changed, messed up the name. Just I'm going to leave it that way for the sake of the video. You're going to double click that. And it tells you uh, all the details of what's going to happen. Then you simply click apply. I'm not going to do that.
because I already have it applied, obviously, because I'm playing the game. I'm going to hit quit. Okay? After you do that, don't open the game, don't start the game, don't do anything. Just open up the PPF or open up the PPF a second time. Okay? And do the exact same steps all over again. Locate the ISO. Once you've located the ISO, pop it in there. Locate the patch file. This time you're going to locate the 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 ladder of the patch files. So the slowdown fix mark two PPF. Double click apply. Okay. Once those two PPF files have been applied to the game, and what's doing is basically it's patching that um, it's patching that um, ISO itself. Once that's complete, the game is ready to start. It's good to go. Okay. Uh, I won't be. I will not be posting in the. PPS. Mm, I guess I will. I'll put in the comments as well. I also have the PPSSPP um, installation um, where you can find it. So it's easy. So you don't have to search the internet to find it. Uh, I'll be nice to you guys because you guys are nice to me. I appreciate it. All the support. Thanks. But uh, I will be posting that in the comment section as well. So uh, with that, the game will run fine. Now, if you want to not trust in. Master Jedi Next Gen Gamer, play the game without the patch, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see the the, the lag in, in every time you use an ability or an item or anything that uses some kind of some kind of graphics, or I don't even know how to explain it. It's just it's weird. It's a programming problem that Square Enix missed and never. And because it's an old game, they don't go back in and fix these old games. Bugs just stay bugs unless our our great hack community um, fixes it. So either way, that's the, the end of this video. Um, please um, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.